Hey everybody, what's up? Sorry if I sound a little uh, blue out right now. I kind of have allergies, a bit of a cold, I think. But, I thought I'd talk about something, you know? It, it seems to me that it doesn't matter exactly, you know, where the fan base of the Sonic franchise stands. It's like you can't, it's like Ian Flynn uh, said, you can't please them all. I mean, obviously, it's like I've said in many videos before, you know, you got fans that know something's going to happen and they're looking forward to it, but at the same time you have a portion of fans that are like, well, we know there are hints and clues that it could happen, but will it? And then, of course, you got the fan base that's like, hey, we like what's going on. You know, we like the fact that so-and-so's a robotic slave now, and we hope so-and-so is a robotic slave gets destroyed. Or they know, they know and enjoy the fact that that so-and-so is a robotic slave, but they also know, as they hate to admit it, that so-and-so is going to end up being returned to normal. So again, it's like what you know, Ian Flynn says, you know, there's no pleasing the fan base. I mean, especially if, from what I understand, um, according to somebody at a certain artistic website, said in their journal, and they showed it to me, that it seems, in all honesty, that there is a ray of hope for this uh, character, for that certain character, due to the fact now, while the certain character was fighting against another certain character, that certain character told said character that they loved them, or they loved them, or something like that. I don't know if it was just regular love, they said, or they said something like, I loved you once, or something like that. I don't know, from what I understand. And then by saying this, said character acknowledged something like, I don't know if they put a question mark, something like said, you love me? It's like it was basically starting to trigger something within. Now, a lot of people have their speculations on what happened in certain areas of the story arc, especially ranging from, um, you know, what happened beforehand. Okay, basically here's the deal. Seven months ago, if you will, a certain story arc, a certain, not, not a certain story arc, but seven months ago, a certain situation, a certain jewel was lost during this sort of a climax seven issues ago. Now, nobody knows exactly what this climax is. Or oh, not climax, but what this jewel was, but and some do. Basically, the jewel was a blue emerald, and obviously, everybody's been throwing up in the air and asking, okay, what exactly happened to it? Well, after a recent story arc in the spin-off comic ended, one of the main suspects that could have taken it or been responsible for that jewel's disappearance was written out of the equation. So the only other logical suspect is said character that was turned into robot and weaponized. And the reason this is another suspect that not just this person but many have speculated could have it is due to what I just mentioned before. The fact that very slowly said character may be coming around. Now again, this goes back to the whole, you know, thing about Ian Flynn saying you can't please the entire fan base because of the fact uh, no one's going to be happy either way. It's like I said, you know, there are fans that like what happened to said character, but know she's going to be returned to normal, and they don't like it. There are some that know, are enjoying what happened and are hoping said character gets destroyed. Oh, you didn't sit. So now you notice some characters that don't like what happened, but are tolerable at the fact that they know 
a total tolerable at what's going on. And basically somewhat know that said character is going to be back to normal in some ways. And then there are those, like I said, that don't like what's happened and don't trust what could be what could come to be. But here's the question. kids mocking my teenagers. Uh, but there are those that look at what's going on and again, like I say, know that such and that said characters are, that basically don't trust what's going to happen. They don't trust a, the head writer to follow through on what they said. So, the question is though, will the payout be a win-win? Will it at least satisfy a majority? Well, right now, as the title says, you know, head, as the title says, you know, the head writers, to quote head writer, there's no pleasing anyone in the family. There's no pleasing anyone. So, but again, will the payoff please the fan base? Will it please them to the point that they'll enjoy the outcome? That it will satisfy both ends? I mean, I said this in a video once, you know, and it's crazy as it sounds, the head writer is trying to basically make those that may be against said character, against said character, to like said character, or those that did and stopped to come back and like again. So that's just my thought on that. But as the title says, there's no pleasing anyone. Head writer says no pleasing anyone. So we'll just have to wait and see. Peace out.